I'm really interested in cinematography. I really enjoy working with the camera and setting up the shots, and that's something that anybody who knows me, I have a camera in my hand, I'm ready to go, and I get like really excited. So I took a tour of Minneapolis College of Art and Design and applied to it. I got accepted. When I came to MCAD, I took a Focus in Western Film course. I was able to learn from the Westerns and being able to um, kind of incorporate some of the technical aspects into my own films. But it really hit me throughout that class that I didn't like how you know, natives were depicted in the films and just the history of indigenous people's stories kind of being rewritten and manipulated. And I wanted to start doing documentary films for people to be able to control their own narrative, unlike, you know, the ways that they were depicting Native Americans in those films. Sitting right there. What I like to do when I am making a documentary film is I like to work closely with an individual or a collective, getting to know what their ideas are or what they want because there's a lot of things that could change within the editing process. So can you just introduce yourself and tell us how you came into Million Artist Movement? My name is William Weaver. I am an untitled artist. I actually tend to like to dabble in a lot of different art. One of the members of Million Artist Movement approached me and asked if I could meet with some of the other members and do a documentary film about them. They're a political arts organization and they believe in the role of art to dismantle oppressive systems. So Million Artist Movement is a collection of black and brown and radical artists who are doing the work at the crossroads of art and politics. This is Signe Haraday. She is one of the founders. At a time when Black Lives Matter was really evolving and the movement for black lives was unfolding all over the country and verdict after verdict and murder after murder was happening to black and brown bodies, it felt like we needed a place where we as artists could coalesce. We said, look, we just, we need to do something. Yeah, I definitely wanted to be a part of Million Artist Movement. It seemed to connect with all of my beliefs and what I wanted to do as an artist and just the kind of people that I wanted to be around. We open our arms up to any individual who is interested in standing up for black liberation and is interested in being inside of a community of other people who want to do that work. And so they do a lot of protests, rallies, a lot of pop-up community art projects as well. You, you, everybody has a part in Million Artist Movement. Even if you don't do art, they'll find something for you to be part of. No matter what you're doing, you can be part of the cause. So I started filming Million Artist Movement at Northern Spark a few years ago. Northern Spark was epic. This is Donald Thomas and this is Caspian Worth. The whole idea behind the project was to have people go through the water cycle and recognize that they are water. We had a big dome that represented the atmosphere. You got handed a prompt that was a card that had a water identity question on it. And then the idea is that you would condense inside the atmosphere, inside the dome, and work on woven clouds and sit with folk and talk about the questions that are on the cards. And I think that overall it was really, really successful. And it was only made possible by like 30 hands coming together. A vision for me came true of having like a labyrinth-esque of all the Million Hours Movement quilts around the dome. The very first power quilt was the Black Lives Matter one. Kids would get really excited seeing the previous quilt squares they had done. So like that's really meaningful when we keep bringing the quilts to multiple events that people get to see theirs incorporated into the quilts that they created at the last event. And to have my mom contribute to something like the quilts really makes the quilts more about family. I am a singer and healer and I love to do a lot of different forms of art. This is Jayanti Kyle. She actually wrote one of the most popular uh, Millionaire's Movement songs. 
The day gonna come when I won't march no more. The day gonna come when I won't march no more. But while my sister ain't equal and my brother can't breathe. Wes Berdine and I wrote the song Hand in Hand in 2014. We've been singing that song ever since at just about every event that we have. Now it has gotten to the point where everyone knows the song so well that if I'm not able to be present, then someone else will lead the song and people will sing it together. Hand in hand with my family, we will fill these streets. Can you talk a little bit about that anybody is an artist and you don't have to be an artist to be involved? The Chameleon Artist Movement, you know, you go there, you don't feel like an artist, but they, they kind of open up a door showing you that you are an artist, you just don't know it yet. That's, that's like what I want, you know, I want to go to a place where even if I don't know what I'm doing, people are still there to support me. I'm still working on this and I'm still learning, you know, and figuring out the whole collective. It's such a big multifaceted collective too, so it's not just one main member and it doesn't rely on a main person, it relies on community and collective. I like just volunteering around community and just being part of community, which is how I met a lot of people. Whatever space Million Artist Movement is at, it's a communal space and where I can bring my son to be involved and everybody watches out for everyone's kid. Oh yeah, toys are in here too. Storytelling is a big part of my own art practice, um, and I believe it's crucial for people to be able to share and control their own narrative. And there are a lot of things that you can't learn through film. You have to really be present and learn from somebody. You know, someone once said that when we create art inside of Million Artist Movement, what we're actually building is family. And I think that's really true.